Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Hill Farmstead. This is uh, the Clara, which is another farmhouse ale from John Hill, but it is a grisette, which is probably not a familiar style for most people. It's actually not even brewed that much. It is pretty much a very traditional beer, uh, brewed from Belgium, brewed originally in Belgium. And just think of it as a sort of smaller sibling of the Saison. There's a good amount of wheat generally in this beer. This one specifically comes in at 4% and has flaked oats and a good amount of wheat. So let's dig into this one. 4% light beer, nice for a summer hot day. So yeah, let's dig in. Uh, the beer comes in, oh wow, nice color. It's uh, slightly amber, good amount of orange coming through that. Not very hazy, um, slightly opaque, but yeah, nice head on that. Let's get the aroma. Signature, signature <laughs> Sean Hill farmhouse ale aroma. Big pop of lemony tart kind of quality. Actually, one of my friends was describing it as olives recently. And I've also uh, also heard pickles. There's a tart quality that's a little bit briny. So that's how I'll describe it as. So think of something like a brined lemon peel, a little bit of like olive and pickle kind of thing. Because the funk is in there too. And the funk is playing in with that tart quality. So yeah, you're almost getting a briny kind of quality. I'm mostly getting that. A little bit of wheat, a little bit of a, a, a crackery malt kind of thing. Oh, a touch of floral as well. A touch of almost like a, a touch of sweetness. Uh, a touch of fruit ca uh, character as well. I'm almost getting a, a hint of pear and uh, apple kind of thing. Very nice. Cheers. Mm. Awesome, awesome beer, yeah. Up front, you're treated with that wonderful kind of character I was describing on the uh, palate, on the aroma. Oh, wow, really nice, yeah. Um, you get this um, intense amount of, again, it's a little bit of like lemon peel, a little touch of like uh, brininess. It, it, it's a little tart quality, but very nice and um, puckering up front almost, but not quite there. Mm -hmm. In the middle, a good amount of wheat. I'm also tasting those flaked oats. Yeah, those oats are coming through on the flavor, which is pretty nice. Um, it, it follows through on the aftertaste. Mm, the fruit's coming in as well. A little bit of a, again, apple pear kind of thing, an Anjou pear, something like that. Um, a tart green apple coming through. Really nice. And then for some reason, I'm getting a touch of this kind of is it smoky or woody? Is that what it is? It might be just the hops. Yeah. There's a nice touch of hops on the finish, offering a bit of kind of bittering, a little bit of grassiness, almost like a traditional hop. So you're getting grassy, a uh, little bit woody kind of hop bitterness on the uh, finish. Very well built beer for four percent. It has a lot of flavor. I mean, I was going through, you know, hoops trying to go look for them. Uh, it's, it's a very complex beer, but very restrained. It's not huge, huge flavors, but they're there, and you sort of have to look for them. A very drinkable beer. I like the fact that, again you get that nice kind of fruit quality, a little bit of tart up front, that signature kind of little bit of funk as well, and then you get a really nice kind of malt quality in the middle, a little bit of biscuity quality, not very sweet, wheat flake oats come in and that wonderful kind of hoppy finish. Uh, just great drinking beer. Some, uh, someone I actually respect, um, he actually asked me to uh, grab him some bottles and I was really impressed that he asked, asked me to bring a bunch of these bottles. And so I actually ended up, beer, uh, ended up trying the beer at the, at the brewery. And this is one of Sean Hill's lower rated beers. So I was really impressed because basically my friend's recommendation was that, you know, grab me a bunch of bottles of this beer because it's absolutely amazing and it really is. I very much trust his palate. He says the, it's the best of the shelf beers that Sean Hill's putting out. I don't know if I'll put it that high, but for 4%, if we're gonna rate him by ABV, this definitely has to be there for that, for that reason. Um, it's definitely up there. It is so flavorful for 4%. I mean, this is a beer that you just wanna drink all the time. Um, it's as flavorful as some of the Gozas out there, something like a Westbrook Goza, even without that salt addition and that intense amount of quote unquote being a sour beer. I wouldn't call this really a sour beer, but it does have tart qualities. You couldn't really sort of call it a sour beer because 
it is <laughs> quite puckering and lemony up front. But um, for a rating, I'm really a big fan of this one. Yeah. I mean, a grisette, 4%, you know, 4% Saison, absolutely amazing, great amount of complexity, super underrated. Um, I believe this gets a 90 on Beer Advocate. It's definitely better than that. Let's go with a 90. Hmm. Let's go with the 96 plus. 96 plus. You're, you're going to be hard pressed to find a better beer at 4% that you're just going to want to drink during the summer. Um, I can't think of many off the top of my head right now. So uh, until next time, guys, cheers. This is probably the best straight 4% beer I can think of. Until next time, guys, later.